My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn some math. Today is our lesson number 16. Today we'll have our quiz on division problems. Simple division problems. These division problems have to do with the times table, the times table that we've been learning in the first 10 days, uh, and just a quick division. In the, they're very simple, very straightforward problems. So here's the first five. 18 divided by 2, 24 divided by 2, 30 divided by 10, 30 divided by 3, 44 divided by 4, and 25 divided by 5. The point here is that you should not have to stop and think about what the answers are. If you know your tables by heart, like I ask you to memorize them, if you know your tables by heart, the answers are quite straightforward. 18 divided by 2, half of 18 is 9. When we divide something by 2, we're taking half of it. 24 divided by 2 is simply 12. How about 30 divided by 3? 30 divided by 3 is 10 because there are 10 3. 10 3s are 30. 10 3s are 30. 12 twos are 24, 9 twos are 18. 44 divided by 4 is simply 11. It's 11 because 11 fours are 44, or 4 elevens are 44. Of course, 4 elevens are 44 because 10, uh, uh, of course, uh, 11 fours are 44 because 10 fours are 40, and then another 4 will make it 44. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Let's do 5 more. Let's do it on this side again. Twelve divided by six. Do it yourself first as I'm writing them. As I as I write the problem, do them yourself. One hundred divided by four. One thousand divided by ten. Seven hundred divided by seven. Of course, twelve divided by six is just two. Half of ten is five. If you divide 100 into 4 equal parts, you're going to get 25. Why? Because 25 times 4 is 100. Of course. A 1 fourth of 100 is 25. A thousand divided by 10. A thousand divided by 10. We can do it two ways. 1000 divided by 10. And of course, there are 10 100s in a thousand. 10 times 100 is going to give us 1000. And this is how we show the process. If you divide top and bottom by 10, if we divide top and bottom by 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 1000 divided by 10 is 100, and therefore it is 100 over 1, or 100. A quicker way, a quicker way to show the same exact thing is this way right here. 1000 divided by 10, if you have to divide anything, if you have to divide one number by another number, where they both happen to end in a 0, if there is 0 attached at the end in both of them, if you divide top and bottom by 10, if you divide 10 by 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. This is one way of showing it. This is one way of showing it. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. Here's another way. 10 divided by 10 is just 1. Cross out 1, 0. Since we divided the bottom by 10, we have to divide the top by 10. If we divide 1,000 by 10, it becomes 100. Knock out a 0. That's all. 700 divided by 7 is going to be 100. Let's do a few more. Thirty-three divided by three, seventy-two divided by eight, sixty-three divided by seven, thirty-five divided by seven, sixty-four divided by eight. Watch what happens. Thirty-three divided by ten, of course, is eleven because 11 threes are 33. Eight, 72 divided by 8, 72 divided by 8. How many 8 in a 72? Well, we know 80, 80 has 10 8's. 80 has 10 8's. If we take away 1 8 from it, we get 72, which means 72 must be 9 8's. So 72 divided by 8 is 9. 9 8's are 9 eights are 72 or 8 nines are 72. 63 divided by 7 is again 9 for the same exact reason because 70 represents, since we're dividing by 7, 70 represents 10 sevens. 
10 sevenths, and if we were to take away 1 7 from it, we get 63, which represents 9 sevenths. So 9 sevenths are 63, or 7 nines are 63. 35 divided by 7 is going to give us 5, and 64 divided by 8 is 8, because 8 is a 64. So here's what I want you to do next. The next few problems, let's do them here, and see what you think. Here are the next problems. How about, how about 3,000... 309 divided by 3. Will you be able to figure out what 3,309 3, divided by 3 is without a calculator? Here's how we do it and without the long division. 3,309 divided by 3, what we do is instead of dividing this entire number, instead of trying to divide this entire number by 3, which is what most people try to do, don't try to divide when you have to divide one number by another, provided, provided that the bottom one is a single digit, what you do is you divide each, each digit individually. How many threes in a three? Three contains how many threes? Three is made up of one three. One three is a three. How many threes in that three? That three is also made up of one three. How many threes does zero have? Zero is no three, it's just zero. As you take care of the digits, you cross it out so that we know it's done. How many threes in a nine? Nine has three threes. Nine has three threes. Very good. That's what you're done. The answer is 1,103. The answer is 1,103. Let's do it on this side here. 3,000. 3,009 divided by 3. 3,009. 3,009 divided by 3. We just found out. Is 1,100. 1,103. And of course we can very quickly verify it. If we were to take 1,103 and multiply it by 3, we can quickly verify that we'll end up getting 3,309. 3 3's three are 9, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 1 is 3. 3,309, right there. Let's do one more. We're done with that one, let's do one more. Here we had 72 divided by 8, we know it's 9. How about if we had to divide, how about if we had to divide 7208 divided by 8. 7208 divided by 8. How do we do it? Let me rewrite it. I'm going to tell you why I want to rewrite it. 7208 divided by 8. Here's, here's what we do. Ask yourself how many 8 does 7 have? 7 has no 8. 7 has no 8. It's only 7. It doesn't even have 1 8. It has no 8. It has no 8. That 7 goes and joins this guy and becomes 72. How many 8 does 72 have? 72 has 9 eights. So we cross out the 72, we put a 9 on top. 72 has 9 eights. So we're done with 72. How many 8 does 0 have? 0 has no 8. How many 8 does 8 have? 8 has 1 8. That's it. The answer is 901. 901. 7208 7208 divided by 8 equals 901 and again we can very quickly verify it if, I, if we had to if we had to verify it we can very quickly do that I'm looking for my thing to erase here because I keep using up all of them Let, just give me one second I'm making a new one how would we verify it? how do we verify a division answer? We take our answer, 901, multiplied by 8. And as long as we did our work properly, we should get back what we started out with. We should get back 7,208. Let's see what we get. 8 ones are 8, 8 times 0 is 0, and 9 eights are 72. There you go. That was the correct answer. 7,208 divided by 8 is 901. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. How about, how about, six thousand three hundred and fourteen divided by seven. Six thousand three hundred and fourteen divided by seven. That's the same exact process. I don't know why I keep writing it so up high and then I end up erasing it. Six thousand three hundred and fourteen. Six thousand. 314 divided by 7. 
Watch what happens. How many seven does how many seven does six have? Six has no seven. It doesn't even have one seven. It has no seven. What happens to that six? That six goes and joins the next guy, and, it, and they work together now. It, it becomes sixty-three. How many how many seven does sixty-three have? Sixty-three right here. Sixty-three has nine seven. Nine sevens are sixty-three. We just did that. So we cross out sixty-three. We put down nine. How many seven does one have? One has no seven. That one goes and joins the set. Four becomes fourteen. How many seven does fourteen have? Fourteen has two sevens. So it looks like the answer is nine hundred and two. Nine hundred and two. Let's put it here. Six thousand three hundred and fourteen. Six thousand three hundred and fourteen divided by seven is nine hundred and two. 902. Now we're going to verify it. 902 times 7 better give us better give us what we're claiming. We're claiming that it is 6314. Let's find out. Two sevens are 14. 4 carry 1. 7 times 0 is 0. Carry 1 that's 4. 1. And 9, nine sevens are 63. 6314. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. How about how about 3,507 3, divided by 7? The same exact process, nothing is going to change. You ask yourself, how many 7 does 3 have? 3 has no 7. That 3 goes and joins the 5, becomes a 7. How many 7 does 35 have? 35 is made up of, 35 is made up of 5 7s. So we just said this, 7 5s are... 7 5s are 35 or 5 7s are 35. We put a 5 up there. 35 goes away. How many 7s does 0 have? 0 has no 7s. How many, how many 7 does 7 have? 7 has 1 7. The answer is 501. The answer is 501. 3507. 3507 divided by 7 looks like equals 501. 501. Now we're going to verify it. 501 times 7. Better give us what we started out with. 7 ones are 7. 7 zeros are 0. 7 fives are 35. What do you know? 3507. It comes out. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Uh, how about 6,400? 6,424 divided by 8. You do it yourself. Pause the video, do it yourself. 6,424 divided by 8. How many 8 does 6 have? 6 has no 8s. That 6 goes and joins the 4, becomes 64. How many 8 does 64 have? 64 has 8 8s, right here. 8 8s are 64. 8 squared is 64. So we cut out the 64, we put down 8. How many 8 does 0, how many 8 does 2 have? 2 has no 8. 2 has no 8. That 2 will have to go and join the 4 to become 24. How many 8 does 24 have? 24 has 3 8s. Looks like the answer is 803. 6000. 6,424 divided by 8 is 803. Now we're going to verify it. 803 times 8. Better give us what we started out with, which is 6,424 we are claiming. 8 3 is at 24. 8 is at 64. There you go. Should we stop here or should we do, should we do 5 more? Let's do five more very quickly. I'm not going to extend the details, we're just going to do them. Five more. First, the simple versions 21 divided by 7, 48 divided by 8, 54 divided by 6, 24 divided by 3, and 55 divided by 5. Well, of course, we know the answer to them. 21 divided by 7 is going to be 3. 48 divided by 8, 6. 6 eighths are 48. 6 eighths are 48. 
54 divided by 6 is going to be 9. Why 9? Because 54 is only 6 less than 60, and 60 has 60 is made up of 10 sixes. 60 is made up of 10 sixes, therefore 54, which is 6 less than 60, would have to be made up of 9 sixes. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And 55 divided by 11, or 55 divided by 5 is going to be 11. Let's do 5 more. Here's the first one. 721 divided by 7. Let's line them up properly so that they will line up. Actually, no, we're going to have to do the work. 721 divided by 7. Again, very simple. 721 divided by 7. You ask yourself, how many 7 does 7 have? 7 has 1 7. How many 7 does 2 have? 2 has no 7s. That 2 goes and joins the 1, becomes 21. How many 7 does 21 have? 21 has 3 7. The answer is 103. 721. 721 divided by 7 is 103. And do you know why? Because we know, we knew that 21 divided by 7, 21 divided by 7 is 3, we're just adding 700 to it. And of course 700 has 107, which is why it's called 700. 700 is made up of 107, and then we have 21, which is 3 more 7s, so it's 103 7s. Let's do one more. How about 848? 848 divided by 8. Same exact logic. 800, even before we do the work, even before we do the work, we know what the answer is going to be. 848 is made up of 800 plus 48. We know 800 is made up of 100 eights, and we know 48 is made up of 6 eights. Right here, 48 divided by 8 was 6. Answer should be 106. We'll do it here. 848 divided by 8. We ask ourselves the exact same questions. How many eights in the 8? 8 has 1 8. How many 8s in a 4? 4 has no 8s. That 4 is going to join. That 4 is going to go and join the 8. becomes 48. And 48 is 6 8s. 106. 106 because 800 has 100 8s. And another 48 has 6 more 8s. 108. 106. 106. The answer instead of being 6, it's going to be 106 because we added 800 to it. Let's do one more. How about 654? Is this You see the pattern? 654. 600 has 100 sixes. 654 is made up of 600 plus 54. 54 we know is made up of 9 sixes. And 600 is made up of 100 sixes. 109 should be the answer. 654 divided by 6. We ask ourselves the exact same question, nothing different. How many 6s does 6 have? 6 has only one 6. How many 6 does 5 have? 5 has no 6s. 5 goes and joins the 4, becomes 54, and 54 has 9 6s. And the answer is 109. Let's do one more. How about 624 divided by 3? 624. 624 divided by 3. We ask ourselves the exact same question. How many 3's in a 6? Six? 6 has 2 3's. 6 has 2 3's. How many 3's in a 2? Two? 2 has no 3's. That 2 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 24. How many 3's in a 24? 24 has 8 3's. The answer is 208. The answer is 200 more than 8. The answer is 200 more than before. The answer is 200 more than before. Why? Because before we only had 24, now we have 624. 624 is made up of 600 plus a 24. And, 24, and 600 is made up of 300 and 300. 300 has 100 threes. This 300 has another 100 threes. And this 24 has 8 more threes. The answer is 208. 208 threes. There are 208 threes in 624. 208 threes are 624. Let's do one more. The last one. How about 1055 divided by 5? 1055 divided by 5. Now before we even do the work, we realize that before we had 55, we just added 1000 to it. Question is, how many 5's in a 1000? 
1000 has 100 tens, therefore it should have 200 fives. Let's find out. 1055 divided by 5. How do we do it? It's very simple. Nothing to it. How many fives in a 1? One has no fives. That 1 goes and joins the 0 and becomes a 10. How many fives in a 10? 10 has 2 fives. How many fives in a 5? Five? 5 has 1 5. Always remember to cross out the digits when you finish word, do, do dealing with it so that you remember where you were. How many fives in that 5? That 5 has 1 5. The answer is 211. Answer is 211 for very one very simple reason. All we have done is that before we had 55 to which we added 1000 and it became 1055 and we know 1055 is made up of 1000 plus 55 plus 55 and we know 1000 is made up of 500 plus 500 500 has 100 500 has 100 fives other 500 would have one other 100 fives and 55 has 11 fives therefore 1055 is made up of 100, 200, 211 it is made up of 211 fives 211 fives are 1055 I'll see you tomorrow, okay? bye now